Licola is a town of the post-war generation. It thrived for nearly 15 years on the timber of the McAllister Valley. But Licola's fortunes ebbed when the sawmill, which was its lifeblood, in fact its sole reason for existence, was destroyed by fire. In its heyday, 20 families lived here, but for the past two and a half years, there has only been one. But what could a person do with Licola once he's invested $65,000? Agent for the selling company, Don Little. If one man was to buy these houses and own the freehold of this, he could develop it up as a motel type accommodation unit with independent units which would be suitable for family holidays. I feel that it would develop into a, almost an exclusive holiday resort as um, you've got everything that is required for a family holiday. The future lord of the Lacola Manor will have the McAllister River as one frontage, ideal for meditation, paddling or fishing. Or if he prefers land-based sports, there is always the cricket oval. Should he be a family man, Lacola provides its own penitentiary for troublesome children. And the choice of 17 weatherboard houses with 50 bedrooms and a score or so of outhouses. The site covers 34 acres, enough to provide plenty of exercise for the owner who likes to patrol his boundaries. There are several natives still in residence, most of them employed in the town's present major industry, keeping the grass down. Nearly everything is shuttered and silent, but the post office come general store come telephone exchange remains open. It's run by John Bradley Smith and his wife. They have five small children who constitute Licola's younger set. Mr Smith moved here eight years ago after ten months in Melbourne. As far as he is concerned, this is the place he wants to be. What does he want for Licola? Oh, I'd, uh, I'd like to see it go ahead. I'd like to see somebody buy the place and uh, make a tourist resort of it. Well, John, how do you manage at the moment? Oh, uh, well, I've got the mail contract from Airfield, well, from Glen Maggie to Glen Cane, and uh, all the store and uh, the post office. So we, we manage quite well. What about your own future if the town is not sold? Well, I could be sitting here for a, a while, yes. I'd like to stay here. I uh, no reason to leave at present. But, uh, should I leave, i am probably move to sale. What uh, rights would a person have that bought the town of La Cola? Well, being a freehold title, as long as he complied with the Shire regulations um, regarding the Health Act and different small regulations like this, he's virtually could do whatever he wished. Its timber mill is idle, its houses are empty. Like Sleeping Beauty's castle, Licola waits for its Prince Charming with something like $65,000 in his pocket to bring it back to life. Imagine, if you will, that you were that person and the things you could do. You could make yourself mayor of the town. You could declare public holidays issue proclamations, name streets, and be in charge of town planning. This would be the ideal site for the town civic square and the gnarled and bent tree trunk could be left to represent, artistically speaking, the spirit of La Cola. The mill timber spray with a little imagination and of course the removal of the timber could well become the municipal fountain. Civic Square has every convenience, including the ex-dance hall come picture theatre, which, with a lick of paint, could become the town hall, the municipal library, the art gallery, or even the La Cola Museum. Of course, as well as being mayor of La Cola, you could constitute your own power authority in this place. With its own generator, the collar is independent of the State Electricity Commission. All you need to operate the Lacola Power Generating Supply Authority is four gallons of diesel oil a day and your own boiler suit. As pleasant as the thought may be, for one whose hand shakes when he writes a cheque for $65, the thought of $65,000 is just a little too much. In any case, the Mayor of Lacola is likely to be very busy for his first few weeks or few years in office.